Uh, been following this group and amazed to see the positive comments and amazing picks. Waiting uh, for the store to open. I have a quick question for you. I've been rolling for a while and discovered the group using Rogaine and seen some good results on my crown. I believe Rogaine advises not to use it on the hairline. So how does the top allow that given that it also contains minoxidil? Um, thanks for keeping, or thanks guys and keep up the amazing work. So James, um, just like I answered earlier, uh, minoxidil is great. Minoxidil is, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's way better than finasteride, dutasteride. It doesn't affect your hormones. It's a vasodilator. So um, just like niacin, it's a rubefacient actually. So there's a lot of other ingredients like in our shampoo, for instance, that um, that stimulate blood flow, that increase blood flow like minoxidil. Um, but minoxidil um, is a it's a vasodilator. Um, but the reason why it is not completely it's not a complete effective solution for hair loss. Um, and if it was, Rogaine was out in the, you know, actually minoxidil was being used in the 50s, 1950s um, at the beginning for hair loss. Um, so if, if minoxidil was the solution to hair loss, I wouldn't be here. Uh, doing what I'm doing right now. Um, so while it, there are benefits to it, it does nothing at all to stop the cause of hair loss. So it's like it's treating the symptom of hair loss, trying to increase blood flow, but it's doing nothing to, to do. It's doing nothing to treat the actual cause or the, or the restriction of blood flow. Um, so yes, that's why, um, that's why it's so effective is um, because it's actually treating the cause of hair loss at the site of hair loss, which is the hair follicle.